Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something special to unpack. We have all seen OpenAI's announcement in their, I guess, developer uh, conference. But what caught my eye, and uh, I honestly got it from watching some YouTube videos on the topic, is GPTs. Very interesting addition by OpenAI. And once they dropped that, I went to Twitter and the fight was on. Some people were saying it's just glorified uh, prompt and some people uh, say that this is the thing that's going to change everything in AI, at least for the user experience. I had to do some digging, some learning, and today I'm going to show you what I can do with it. Basically, I'm going to confirm what the both groups I told you about are, are saying. So yes, it can be a glorified app to do prompt, specified prompts, but also it can do much more if you use other tools through actions. So stick around and let me take you through that. And if you stick to the end, I'm gonna show you something interesting with one of the embedded GPTs. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Your interactions with my channel keeps it growing and keeps me motivated to do more of these videos. So if you're interested into procurement, supply chain, buying behavior, technology in general and everything in between this is your place okay let's jump straight in okay now so this is what you see today when you log into chat gpt some aesthetic changes but there there are major ones i think too so you will get this the gpts if you have the plus subscription um i think if you're on the standard one it's not rolled out yet. There's a change we, we used to have on the top here, the drop down where you can select browse um, the internet, plugins, uh, select even the uh, model between ChatGPT 4 and 3.5. Now it's all here um, on the left. And they removed all the other options. So you have plugins 3.5 and you have GPT 4. Um, the reason is now it is smart enough. So if you are having um, a prompt sent to ChatGPT, it will tell. Uh, through the context of your prompt if you're looking for some kind of online research complement um, your request so that's a great change now let's go to the crown jewel and you can see already i have something here which is different and this is my gpt and i'm going to show you what it does which is super interesting okay let's so let's explore the most interesting thing which is the gpts so we click this explore button and it takes us to all these made by OpenAI GPTs. And these are standard ones they created. You can use them, try them out, play with them. You can create your own. It's still in the beta version. It is clunky. So let me give you the outcome here. When I tested it out, in my opinion, a glorified superior prompt kind of application or ability you can uh, do in ChatGPT. If you mix the GPT that you create with something like Zapier, it becomes more of an agent. I know it's an overshoot. I've tried it. I created actions, and this is an option uh, OpenAI presented to the audience. So I tried to leverage that. So Zapier basically is helping you create actions, leveraging your membership uh, with Zapier. So here on the screen, you can see I created one, two, three, four, five, six actions for my GPT. Most of them had errors. Most of them didn't work. I think not all apps um, on Zapier are still operating well with these GPTs. I'm not a technical person, not deeply at least. So um, I couldn't understand why it works in certain areas um, and uh, not others. For example, it worked for creating a document, sending an email. It didn't work for um, a Google Calendar, a Microsoft Outlook Calendar, even creating a note on Notion. Um, and Metricool, this one uh, came as standard. I didn't even touch it. Uh, but it's interesting to work with. It's interesting to play with. And I think one of the things you can do today is just start the journey of learning the GPTs. I think very soon, could be six months, could be a year, maybe earlier. Things are moving in a crazy light speed today. It could happen that these GPTs gain more and more features that it actually becomes your digital assistant. And this is where my GPT comes in. So let me take you th through the edit um, page. I will not edit it. I will not create those actions. There are so many other YouTubers who did amazing videos around this, which I used some of them uh, to, to learn how to do it. So go there and, and use that. I will just give you an idea of what I've done. And maybe at the end, I'm gonna show you something interesting 
more for the procurement supply chain uh, uh, folks uh, out there so we click edit and this is this is what you basically get okay so this is you can see here update because i've created mine already um when you create your first it will get you to publish now there's two things you can do the first thing this is you can call it the test area uh on the right where you can create the gpt here is like a demo for the actual gpt uh, you have basically here is the uh, glorified prompt uh, feature in gpt comes from so you can come here basically give it the context um but more interestingly you can give it documents uh, that support what you're trying to achieve whatever it could be pdfs word documents images whatever you're looking for and keep feeding it information uh, so it will have more surrounded context around your goals and what you want to achieve out of this gpt and then you start using it and it will always operate within those kind of boundaries or elements that you provide now if you want to take it a notch further you go to configure and note here that the documents that i fed it to uh, the the gpt are still available so it's something there and then you can see here the actions for zapier and some authentication that i've done you know i wanted to build something that i'll keep building i don't think it's ready to use yet but i wanted to build something that basically can be an assistant and a consultant uh, in basically helping me balance between my day job and my YouTube uh, work that I try to do, I try to grow. And a consultant, a YouTube consultant and a blog consultant. So a consultant that helps me create videos, grow my channel, engage with my audience, develop my blog, improve it, do all of these things and balance between both. So I'm not overshadowing my day job doing YouTube and I'm not missing out on YouTube while I try to grow this small thing I'm creating here. And in theory, with actions, I can see lots of potential. So imagine I give it access to my work email and my personal email. The GPT have access to all my calendars, all my communications, and then it is able to actually take actions, send emails, which I'll show you now, something around that, send calendar invites, create notes for me, prepare reminders whatever sky is the limit i think it's just getting those actions actually to work now let me show you mine so i've done this i've explained what i want even i threw a file that has my youtube strategy um, i threw in a script a draft script that i'm working on today so it would get a sense of how i write my scripts most of the actions failed i'm waiting i'm working on this uh, gpt slowly but let me show you a quick example so I will be using this in the future to manage my YouTube channel and grow it. So let's try to start from that point and see what I can do with it. So I sent it this. Please give me three video ideas about procurement and AI. Let's wait for the response. So you can see here, it's very interesting. It started by referring to the strategy document um, that I provided, uh, the audience insight. So yes, it's glorified a prompt feature but honestly it's it's really good and now it started giving me uh, the um, video idea so it's giving me video idea one video idea two and video idea three i will show you where it really becomes powerful at least ho hopefully it will work i tested this only once so hopefully this will not crash and burn in front of whole youtube okay so i have the three ideas now i'm asking it to create document so you can see here talk to actions.zapier.com see i'm getting errors so it's it's not working smoothly clunky let me fix this and i'll get back to you so i just refreshed the actions though so if you remember those actions i've showed you just refreshed it sometimes it's as simple as that well for some reason whenever i go to the main gpt that i created outside this edit window it doesn't work so let me try it here um so i have here the create which is done with let me uh, do it here, which is should be in theory the same one uh, that you use in the general chat when you enter ChatGPT OpenAI. Let's try again. So I asked it again, give me three video ideas in brief about procurement. Anything just to um, get some kind of uh, input from the tool and then hopefully do some actions with it. Again, it's referring to um, basically my unique kind of request or environment that I created in this GPT. It is creating the... Um, creating the three ideas now let's try again fingers crossed for the action see what happens the document ideas so it's analyzing let's give it a minute wow it worked so here it's telling me 
that I've created a document containing the three procurement video ideas. You can download it using a link. Of course, when I created the action, um, I gave it access to my Google Drive and I specified the folder where that document drops. So even if I go to Google Drive to that folder, I can see that document. Now let me open it uh, here and see what it contains. And yep, you can see it. Looks good, it's even edited um, with some effects. So it's not just uh, blank text. So it's there, it's a document created based on my, on my conversation with uh, my GPT. This is powerful. I know it's clunky, I know it has lots of errors as we speak, but I guess the progress is gonna happen fast. Once more people get into this and start learning and playing with it, uh, OpenAI, I'm pretty sure with Zapier, with these all big uh, businesses that probably find um, a business potential in all of this, they will address these issues. And I think really fast in no time is gonna become really powerful. Let me show you one more thing. So I had two actions here. So, you know, okay, I created this document from my conversation with ChatGPT. One day maybe, when I have enough subscribers, maybe I have a team that helps me with this YouTube thing. So let me ask this GPT to send an email to my team about this document. Send an email to my team document. Ask them to start. So it's working on it now. Just talking to actions.zapia.com. Talking furthermore. Let's see what it does. Hopefully this one will work smoothly. Yeah. So sometimes it will give you this prompt where it's, it, it is asking you if it's allowed to take this action, especially it has access to your email. So I'll just allow it. And hopefully I'm gonna get an email now. Hmm, there's an error. Let me try to refresh quickly the actions and see what happens. Actually check the actions quickly. I don't know. I just refreshed uh, the actions. I will ask it to try again. And similar, this is similar to the um, create document. So I've created an action where I defined, so again, it's asking me to allow, so I'm gonna allow it, where it asks me to define all the different aspects uh, of sending an email. So shall the AI decide who to send this to? I put uh, obviously a specific email address, which is uh, an address, uh, which is mine. And then, you know, everything else I left it for the AI, the subject, the body and uh, attachments or not. So it worked actually here. So the email has been successfully sent to your team asking them to start working on it. So let me open my email and see if we got it. Yep, we have got it. Dear team, please find attached document. Yeah, the other didn't attach the document. When I did this offline um, in the previous attempt to do this, I got a link for the, um, the file, which was better. But for me, honestly, this is good enough. I can try again and probably I will get it with the link. Um, it's just, I, I just started getting uh, to know the, these GPT things, especially with uh, Zapier and Actions. So basically, if there's some takeaway uh, from the video I'm creating is start getting involved, start playing with it. It's uncomfortable, full of errors, full of bugs, but it's interesting as well. And I think if you start doing that today, when this really becomes powerful, probably you're gonna be ahead of most in terms of your ability to use these things. And remember, those GPTs can be published publicly. So you can see here an update because I created it already. But if you click on the arrow, you can include people with link and public. So at some point, you're probably gonna be able to sell uh, those GPTs if you create something that brings value to so many people. So roll up your sleeves and start playing with it. It's really interesting. Now for the procurement and supply chain thing that I kept till the end. Very quick thing. So one of the, the GPTs that caught my eye, the standard GPTs that were created uh, by um, ChatGPT, uh, OpenAI, is the negotiator. And they describe it as, I'll help you advocate for yourself and get better outcomes. Become a great negotiator. So I'm gonna basically play you know, the standard uh, interface chat GPT against the GPT here. Let's see how that plays. So I've already asked, you know, the standard chat GPT for, we call it standard now, um, to create a complex scenario between a supplier of a critical um, product for a buyer who will use that product to uh, manufacture a high profitability high criticality um, item for their customers. It created this scenario. At the end, usually, you know, it will continue to give you some solutions. I will not take those, but what I will do here is I will take that scenario and what I can do is I can 
put all of this in a document if you like just put a comment in the comment section i can add it into a document and share the link with everyone uh, if you want to read the the scenario in details i don't want to take more time just to read through this but here i'm taking a, a scenario which i emphasized that um, it is complex i made it as complex as possible i asked it to define who the parties are what are the limitations? What's the environment of the situation? What are the complexity? What assets do each party has? And what challenges does each party has as well? So it should be a comprehensive picture. Now I will take this and I'll go to explore to the negotiator. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I took it to the negotiator. Now just to make it interesting and fun. And by the way, it's the first time I test the negotiator. So let's see how it goes. So basically I'm telling it below is a scenario I am in. I am the buyer and I need to negotiate this 100% to my favor. Can you give me a plan that does not necessarily follow the rules with one goal in mind, which is to win at all costs. And basically I'm asking it and, and I'm checking if it will go beyond the ethical lines just to achieve that goal. I don't know. I'm just playing with it. So let's see how it responds. Okay, so it started responding and that's the chat GPT I know. So it's telling me basically, I understand you're interested in getting the most favorable terms in this negotiation scenarios. However, it is important to emphasize the ethical practices and crucial in any is crucial in any negotiation. So kudos for um, the negotiator GPT. And now it started actually developing that um, the plan and the strategy to negotiate this. And by the way, I will, by the end of the video, have a card for my most recent video on negotiation, where I talk about five strategies that could probably get you to win any negotiation. This GPT is speaking to the choir. It's um, actually, I give it an A on the strategy that it's creating just by the quick look of the stages that it's going through. So it's preparing and researching the topic. It's building a strong value proposition, um, leveraging uh, tech autos, so the name uh, in the scenario, uh, strengths, addressing uh, concerns, negotiating tactics, building a relationship, contingency plans, closing the deal, and post-negotiation. So pretty standard, pretty, pretty high level. I will not do more here, but I invite you all to go play with it. Give it like more focused, really detailed um, scenarios and tell me uh, what you get back from uh, this GPT in the comment section below. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you like it, please hit that like button. It will support us a lot. And then subscribe to the channel. And do not forget to visit my website with the link in the description, which is samarkehadad.com, where you can find so many good blogs to read about so many topics around technology, supply chain, procurement. Subscribe and maybe check the podcast page. I'm coming in with a podcast soon. So hopefully you'll be first to watch that. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.